Gilston. I'm here at Cooper MMA with my friend Justin, who's going to help me out today. Uh, so we're going to start off by showing some escapes from katagatami from the pillow choke. Um, so first, I'd like to show you how I do pillow choke. Demonstrate it. Uh, some key points here. Usually, this starts in some kind of Kesagatami uh, hold, but uh, he gets this arm free. Uh, at that point, I want to push his elbow. Now, I can push his elbow either across his face or I can push it high. I actually like to have it high, but he'll bring it down to stop that. So, across the face, my head comes all the way down, locking his shoulder. I like a cable grip. Uh, I've also seen this kind of interwoven grip. Both are very strong. I prefer cable. I switch. My knee goes into his rib cage. My foot comes way out, head on the ground. And I think of it as bringing my elbow to my hip. My shoulder comes down, my elbow goes to my hip. Okay, if if this arm comes up, if I can get this arm up here, I get a little more room to get my shoulder under his chin. Again, elbow comes down, and now my foot comes way up to the top. Okay. So, katagatami, uh, pillow choke. Right? So, not a situation you want to be in. All right, so he's gonna start applying pressure. His head comes down. I don't wanna get choked, so I bring my arms together, and this hand goes up on my forehead. Even without this arm, apply pressure. This is enough to prevent him from being able to finish the choke. I'm pushing against my forehead. My hand is flat, that enables me to use this hand out here, which we'll come to later on. But first, I want to be applying pressure to stop the choke. If, his, if I can get my hips away from his knee, come out, I'm going to now turn sharply into him. Uh, be nice to your partner if when you're drilling this and don't rip his ear off. So I'm pulling out and coming down. All right, let's just get a quick video of that from the other side. Okay, once again, I'm pushing into his head, moving away from that knee, turning into him, and bringing my elbow straight to the ground. Notice that I'm using my legs to get extra momentum, and down. From this position, I want to put my left hand on the ground and turn onto my stomach. In jujitsu, I'm gonna lock this shoulder in place, come up and tap him. In judo, that's illegal. So in judo, come out for an elbow lock. Okay. Sometimes he'll follow me. So when I try and move out, he follows so that I can't turn in. Okay. In this case, I'm going to shoot over this shoulder. I'm going to do a backwards roll over this shoulder. This is where I want to have my hand down. Now you can do this even with a much, much larger person. There's a lot of momentum involved. Once I'm in this position, I'm putting my weight on his rib cage, grabbing my collar, and I have 
a straight arm bar. Once again. So he's got me locked up. I want to do a shoulder roll backwards over my far shoulder. Create the space, you don't want to get choked. Hand to my forehead, using my elbow and hand to give me a little extra momentum, starting with my feet this way. Over. Notice I'm keeping pressure on his head so he can't take my back. He cannot take my back here. Lock the arm up. I'm pulling my collar down to tighten this grip on his arm. There's space here. I'm coming under that space, moving my arm up to the finish. Okay. Some people do katagatami from a kesa kind of hold. Um, so this time he's gonna, I got the arm free. He doesn't switch his legs. I can still do this escape, but also here I can roll in and grab the leg, just like with regular case of I want to bring the far leg on the ground, pull it in, and roll over and just reverse. You can even do this as a drill with your partner. <clears throat> Same thing if he does it, uh, the regular one, but he doesn't bring his knee in. So you switch, but he's just out here instead of the knee in my hip. I use my knee, let's get that again so they can see it. So I'm coming up, if he doesn't have his knee in my hip, and I can get this knee in front of him. I can push his leg back, trap with the far leg, lock, this foot comes over, and again, it's fairly easy for me to turn him over, end up in a nice mount. Escapes from Katagatami, pillow choke. If you like our videos, please press like and subscribe to the channel. Seriyoku Zenyo, meaning maximum efficiency. Thank you, Justin.